<laughs> it completely pancaked right here. That's a dent right here too. Yeah, that ain't really no big deal. You can. That's by where the radiator hit. I think yeah, that's ah, it probably is where it hit. Man, if you look, for the most my part, it's not that bad. bad. Yeah. The result that I bought for mine, I bought it used and I fixed it. I wish I could. But it wasn't used. titanium. That's why I say I don't know about titanium. Yeah. Yeah. Cause. <laughs> I fucking pieced the damn boat out, that piece that broke in there. It actually worked though, man, because shit, you saw how it was, man. It was barely, it was barely like hanging on there. I didn't yeah, know if yeah. it was gonna when fall off or not. When I picked it up from the impound, I just- You got the connect, the connection? The you wanna undo it? You just unbolt it. You hold the bike oh, Dude, that shit cracked all the way, dude. Yeah, that's busted all the way. That's like an eight. You holding the bike? Yeah, yeah I am. Okay, oh, eight. Compare these two all pins to each other. Some new replacement. And this right here is the pan from, from the bike. As you can see, put a big hole in there. Crazy. Toyota, look at this shit. Toyota? Do we have gaskets for that? Did it have gasket? It should be. We got gaskets. Yeah. How you ordering? See, that looks like this all is damaged. Just that plastic in the pan. There is no metal in the pan. Like shavings. Nah, I don't look like it. Mm. Nah, I don't see no nothing in there. Like I say, once we run that oil through there, do a quick oil change yeah, and filter. If, yeah, if there's anything. Oh, it's got there. an O-ring. It uses the O-ring. Yeah. Well, the new one got it too. So. I'm sure I ordered that. Yeah, that new one right here. What is it? It's got an O-ring in it. Yeah. Huh? You got a bear? Right here. Bam. New O-ring came up. All right. What? Just put the new shit back on. Oh, yeah. The two front. Two front. Yeah. Take a sneak peek in there. Bottom of the bike without the oil pan on. All right, Solomon, you up, man? I'm up for trial. It's up to you. I plead the fifth. Yeah, put like two bolts in there. Oh, that was gorgeous. Good teamwork right there, man. Oops, that's good news. It's tight, right? Missing? Nothing, I swapped the little... The pins? The pins? The white. Old like tight. You can put silicone on this or not? No. Oh yeah, hold on, let me get that gasket. Oh shit, we need to clean up this old crap. Boom. Hey, I look beautiful. I 
get snug on these two, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Was some bitches hard to take off, uh, Danny? This one's? Yeah. I don't know, man. I took it with with the impact. I don't know how tight they were. I don't think they're fat. Nah, they're not. If the other, if the old pen is, is you, you don't have pen. to hold it. The magnet is holding it. Yeah, magnet. I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah, I can't even get, get it too. off. Like it, it okay. sucks the inside. Yeah, okay. it grabs it. Like you feel it. We got time, buddy. Time means we got plenty of it. Tiger's <laughs> hungry. I'm, I'm telling you, man. What were what you, you saying, man? Oh, this motherfucker. He trying to get everybody. Tiger? Oh yeah, hold on, let me get my, uh, where that light at? Oh, there you go. Hand me that, uh, solvent. What were you saying earlier? you? A guy for what? Oh yeah, check that out, let me see. We're gonna see if the gap of these menus open for you. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that look real good. Let me put that bad boy on there. All right. Your bike gonna be flowing now, man. You got you ain't got no restrictions now. Yeah, no restrictions. It's a straight airflow, man. You can be making all the power. You're gonna need a V2. Yep. There you go. Yeah, you definitely gonna have to. But I think Solomon, I think your bike on the MR12 would fucking run good, dude. So you need a sponsor for MR12. Uh, I'm working on I'm working on it. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, it look nice. Oh, you got the. Yeah, so you don't need that fucking rubber piece right there, cause you got the one that come all the way down to the uh, to the front of the bike. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, he got the he got the full. One. So I might not need that fit, right? Yeah, nah, so ain't... yeah, you ain't gonna need that rubber piece. Not with that one. Yep. Yeah. Actually, we can probably put. Nah, what we should do. Is that piece right there, the the front cover that goes to it, we should put all of that together right. so we put it on as one like piece. Like the whole face in it? Yeah. Let's I, see I guess it, it only don't matter, but I figured it probably yeah, yeah. It's easier, yeah. But we, we just need to figure out what, what we're missing from the other one. Like the violets? Yeah, because it looks like it's a lot of bolts and wires and stuff on that one. There's no headlights in this one yet, right? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that goes at the bottom, yeah. Okay. Well, this one got everything. Ballast and everything. Just oh, okay. Like yeah, this. we just need to see. Yeah, just hook that, the, yeah, hook that up to that. Yeah, and then put it on this one piece. First, just trying to put them all section by section. Looks like it right here. Nope. That's probably that other plug. Remember that other plug that we, we were trying to plug into here? Leo, this one right here? That probably goes in there. I'm just gonna be able to this shit, bro. Hold it right there. You put these in, we're gonna take these screws off. This thing. Oh, I got, I got it in my pocket. <laughs> That's it. Let's just kind of see how it fits and then we go from there. So we want to pull these things in. We'll just kind of put it on, see how it kind of goes, okay. so we can see somewhat. Gonna slide into this spot here. We got the bike back together. For the most part. Let me get that light. Yeah, we pretty much just gotta put the fairings on it. 
clean it up. How do you change these? Do you have to change what? Oh, you have to take that uh these thing off? Yeah, the triple tree clamp off, mm -hmm. and then that's it. And then it comes. You just change it. It's not too bad. Mm, I don't know. That's not too bad. Missions, everything goes. Or it just sits in there. But yeah, we're gonna finish up the the rest of it. I guess all the time. Yeah. Once we get this exhaust situation and engraved, set up some new system. <laughs> This is the rebuilt R1M right here. We got the new grave system on there. Got the fairings on it. Uh, we got all of the, pretty much everything. This is the complete package of what the bike look like now. Now this is my Yamaha R1M. They're both 2017. And as you can see, we have them set up similar to each other. Uh, the Bella Pan, uh, they're both lowered. Um, front and well, I don't know if I don't think this one is lower than the rear. I think it's just a front. I'm not for sure, but mine's is lower than the rear, about an inch and a quarter, and then the front is about uh, I think around about two inches maybe. Uh, I'm not really for sure for sure, but yeah, this is it, man. Uh, the bike came out amazing. Uh, I thought I had lost this footage this is not all of it but this is what i could find and i figured i just you know for those who did want to kind of see a little bit behind the scenes i felt like you know it's worth to just put it out there even though i already made a video saying that i didn't have it <laughs> now i'm backtracking because i literally found it right after shortly after i had um uh said that i didn't so yeah this 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 is the bike I just wanted to kind of give a, a final walk around, you know, to end this whole rebuild with this bike, just to show that it it came out awesome, man. So you can't just see those wrecked bikes and think that it's just a lost cause, because that bike was in pretty rough shape and we made it work. So thank, thanks for watching.